I'm Amy from AHA. Large cross-functional efforts, like a product release, are challenging to coordinate. You need a clear plan so everyone on your team knows what needs to be delivered and when. And creating a proper plan requires setting dates and managing dependencies so you can keep everything on track. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Gantt chart and AHA roadmaps to do exactly that. Let's get started. Here I am on the Gantt chart in the releases section of AHA roadmaps. And depending on the type of workspace you have, this might be called schedules. Either way, the Gantt chart is a great way to visualize all of the cross-functional work that has to come together, including all the phases, the features and activities within those phases, any milestones, as well as any dependencies at play, so you can manage your plan and ensure a timely launch. Now, let's take a look at the releases that are already built out on our Gantt chart here, so I can show you how to set and manage dates. You can see when I hover over the release bar, the start and end dates are visible and I can click into the release record to see those same start and end dates here in the date range. These dates are what determine the position of the release bar on the Gantt chart, and I can change them here on the record, or I can change them on the Gantt chart itself. I can click and drag to pull the whole release along our timeline, or I can grab just the end of the release and collapse or expand it to change the length of the release. Okay, now let's take a closer look at our Share Your Rides release so we can understand all the cross-functional work that has to come together to deliver this on time. I created this release from a release template, so our main phases are already created here, but I do have a few things I need to add for this specific release. The first thing I'm going to add is a milestone. Milestones are basically key dates that you want everyone on the team to be aware of. In this case, I know we have a partner training coming up that we want our development to be complete in time for. So I'm going to add that in line here. And then I'm just going to drag that milestone to the right spot on the plan. And I need to add another phase to this release as well. For this, release, we need to do some sales and support training. So I can, again, just add that phase right in line here and then drag the phase to the right position on the timeline. You'll notice just like with the release bar, we can drag these phases along the Gantt chart to put them in the right spot. And any changes we make to the phases are reflected in those records as well. Okay, so I think things are looking pretty good here. So let's drill into one of our phases so we can see the features and activities that make up that phase. So I've opened up our development phase and I can see the features that our dev team is gonna be working on for this release. And I am noticing that we just need to add one more actually. I can do that right in line like I've done with all the other additions. And I want to just add this. And then again, I can position it within the development phase so that the timing is correct. Okay, so now that I've got my visual plan in place for all the things that have to happen as part of my release, now it's time to talk about how to manage dependencies. So as I look at my release, I can see that there are a few things here that are dependent on other work before they can begin. And I want to show that on my plan so that everyone on the team has visibility into it and so that we can really understand the impact to our overall timeline when dates start to slip or we have delays. So the engineering team told me that this feature here has to finish before they can start working on the next one. So I want to show that. I'll just click and drag this dot to create that dependency line. Now watch what happens when the dates on this feature start to slip. That dependency line turns red, which gives me a really clear visual cue that there's gonna be some larger impact to this delay, and we probably need to account for it. Okay, and we have another dependency I wanna show here as well, and that is between our support docs and our training. We need our support documentation to be complete before we can start training our team. So I'm going to create that dependency line here and right away I can see that there's a problem. So I need to make some adjustments here to my plan. 
I'll pull this phase forward on the timeline and I'm seeing another issue here as well. So we can't go to market until our teams have been fully trained. So I'm gonna show that dependency and now I see that I have to push this phase of the release out as well. So I've got my timeline here accurately reflecting all the work that's part of the release and I wanna make sure that my release bar reflects that as well. So one handy tip is I can just come up here, click Align with Visual Children, and you can watch the release bar. It'll adjust to accommodate all of the phases. And voila! Now things are looking very tidy. And that's it. Now you can visualize dates and dependencies for any release and keep everyone on track with the Gantt chart in AHA Roadmaps. You can try it in AHA Roadmaps today. And let us know if you need help. We are always here for you. Email us at support at aha.io, and as always, we'll respond super fast. Thank you.